Folks, have you ever wondered why the moon looks different on different nights? Sometimes it looks like a crescent, like a banana. Sometimes it looks like a semicircle. And sometimes it looks like a full circle. Why does the moon look different on different days? Does it have different personalities? No, it actually has to do with the motion of the moon around the earth every 29 and a half days as the sun casts a light on the moon's surface, lighting up exactly half of the moon every single day. So, welcome to the second episode of Barry Science Lab Astronomy, in which our goal is to answer this exact question. Before we try to understand the phases of the moon, it's important to get some quick facts about our closest neighbor. The moon is the closest satellite to the earth at about a quarter of a million miles away and it's pretty big. It's about 2000 miles in diameter which means it's about the same width as Australia. But don't think that the moon is small, okay? The moon's surface area is plenty big. In fact, you could put China, Russia and the United States all on the moon and still have millions of miles left over for parking space. And in relation to the Earth, the Moon is the closest is the largest natural satellite compared to its planet out of the whole solar system. So for example, Mars's moons are much smaller compared to Mars than Earth's moon is compared to the Earth. Same for Jupiter, Saturn, uh, Uranus and Neptune. And of course Mercury has no moons. Now, let's, uh, let's quickly divulge two facts about the Moon that you should keep in mind when considering its phases. First of all, we only see one side of the moon at any time of the, of the year, okay? And that's the near side of the moon. We never see the far side of the moon. And why that is will become clear uh, at the end of the episode. And the second fact you should keep in mind is that only half of the moon is lit up at any time, okay? All, the sun lights up exactly half of the moon at any time and we'll show that in a demonstration later on in this episode. When I look at the moon, I always wonder, one thing. I always wondered one thing. Why do we see only one side of the moon? Good question. The reason why we only see the near side of the moon is because of one reason. The moon's rotational period is the same as its orbital period. That means it takes the same amount of time for the moon to rotate once, spin once on its axis as it does for it to go around the earth once. 29 and a half days. So the moon is almost dancing around the earth at exactly the same amount of time as it's spinning on its own axis. Those two periods are the same, hence we only see one side of the moon. If you want to go deeper into the physics, it involves tidal locking and we'll explore that in later episodes. But for now, all you need to know is that the rotational and orbital period of the moon are the same. Show me that. Can you demonstrate to us why the moon has phases? Sure, but first I need a sun. The experiment is simple. I'm going to be the earth and this cardboard tube is going to be the moon. Let's see how the moon's phases change. Okay, so I'm going to place you in the position of the earth. Now as I rotate you can see that slowly but surely the moon turns from a new moon to a waxing moon to a quarter moon and then finally to a full moon. You can see that light starts to spread on the moon's surface. And now finally, hopefully you understand why the moon has phases the way it does. That's why the moon looks different every night. Hey there folks, hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Barry Science Lab Astronomy. Thank you for watching and I hope you learned something. We'll check you out in the next one.